I love Drawn to Death. I love the world, I love the fiction, I love the art style. Just like Twisted Metal and God of War uh, represent a very real part of me, I think Drawn to Death does as well, and I, I love it very much. Drawing to Death is a uh, third-person, competitive, multiplayer-only, hybrid shooter slash brawler. And it is set entirely inside the pages of a high school student's notebook. So he's stuck in class, bored out of his mind, this real creative kid. And he basically starts drawing and just doodling away and sort of creating this world on paper. And in the game, you actually get to go into that world and have these amazing tactical, action-packed fights inside this kid's notebook. You know, setting the game in the notebook at, at, at a surface just gives us unbridled creativity. Any level we can think of, any weapon, any character basically has a home in this game. The idea for us is it's, it's a four-player max shooter brawler. And the reason is if you look at games that you can really get your head around the competition, knowing their tactics, knowing what they're doing, knowing their position on the battlefield, it's less about dropping you into sort of just a chaotic blender of action and instead saying, you know, we want smart players. We want to create a game that really is rewarding you for thinking and being great with reflexes at the same time. I love it when you learn who you're fighting on the battlefield, when you actually start to get into the nuance of the gameplay. And let's say I'm playing Diablo Tijuana and her character on the battlefield is Johnny Savage, who she's really good against in the sense that when he sends the Devil's Rift at her, she can actually kneel and suck the demon into her and grow three times as strong as she normally is. That's only a result of a player playing it like a shooter, but actually opening their minds up and saying, there's more to it than just aiming the gun and shooting. You really have a lot of places to go. And at a core, I love that blend of shooter and brawler and how, you know, I've, I haven't played a game that feels that way. Fucking taste it. You did okay, I guess. I mean, third place. Obviously, the tech has changed, the size of the teams has changed, how we get our games out to, to the public has changed. But ultimately, what never changes, I think, is always chasing that North Star that is fun and always chasing that elusive achievement of engaging a player. I think back to the, you know, to me being right out of college with graph paper and, and whiteboard going, how is this level going to be fun? What's different about this than what's already on the market? Our goal is to build a great game first, but then a really cool universe on top of that, that players who are into it can kind of get a lot of, you know, joy discovering. So this is the first game I've worked on where we have let the community engage with the game. I mean, it's been over a year since we've had some people online playing this game with us. It really does feed that iterative process, which I think is necessary to make a really good video game and sort of getting as much feedback as you can as you're building, it's been really cool and it's been challenging because on one hand, you know, anybody, my God, you can wake up and say, on a Monday morning, you can wake up and say, it's Monday, everybody, and somebody on the internet is gonna tell you, fuck you, it's Wednesday, even though you know it's Monday, right? There's always a contrarian out there and we don't look at ourselves as short order cooks who are just sort of like, okay, development team, we like this, we don't like this, make the change. You know, we have a very specific vision that we're following, but part of that vision is, you know, taking great feedback that comes in from the community and sort of doing that while we're making the game and folding that into the process through the private access, I think has made the game so much better. It has been actually very fulfilling is when you go online now to people who do not work for Bartlett Jones, they do not work for Sony, but they're using the words, they're using the language, our game and this is what we're trying to do. And there's a sense of they have as much ownership now in this as we do. It's very moving to us because it, 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 it cements and it reflects the fact that they feel like we do, that this is a really cool thing that we're all working on together. So it's very easy to engage with the Drawn to Death team and to become sort of part of the Drawn to Death community because we welcome that. Station.